Hello and welcome to Wednesdays with Barbie. I'm Eric Houston and I'm joined as always by Barbie. Barbie, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. You're welcome. You having a nice good day? Sunny day? Well, yes, better than yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and so, and the sun is shining. It is. It's like it's the so first. Nice. It's the first nice uh, week we've had yet. I feel. Like. Yes, and it's the first of June. Yeah. Yep. Well, and it was just in time for Memorial Day. Yep. Yeah. Did you it's have an exciting nice. Memorial Day, Barbie? It was busy enough. Yes. Yeah. It was okay. Yeah. Yes. Did you do anything exciting? Oh, nothing so much out of the ordinary. We went out one day and. Mm. Did a few things, but the weather was kind of up and down once in a while. So, but it was nice to have all those days off. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> um, so, as you said, it's June, and June is graduation season. People are are graduating from school, and you have somebody. I sure do. The youngest of my ten grandchildren, and all of them have successfully graduated from high school and five of them which are all from one family all five boys are f all graduated from Blaine and uh, we're down to the bottom end of uh, the barrel I guess you could say. <laughs> he's the bottom and, of the barrel. Yeah the barrel okay. and then he's um, graduating this next week Tuesday the 7th of June. Oh wow and he's graduating from high school. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. And what's, what is his name for all the, the viewers at home? Uh, his name is Michael Andrew Albrecht. Michael Andrew, and he goes to? Well, he goes to Blaine. He's going to graduate with the Blaine, uh, his class. But he mm -hmm. has been going mm -hmm. this last year to get uh, a little bit of extra credits and different things. And, and it's called the STEP program that he has been over at um, Anoka Tech. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um, and so he's graduating. How are, how are his grades? Good grades? Oh, I would say so. Yeah. 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 Pretty yeah. smart kid. Well, I think he is. Yeah. <laughs> how, so how does it feel then to have your youngest grandchild graduating from high school? Well, it's pretty, um, I'm happy about it and everything. And next fall, there won't be anyone to say, okay, you got to get going to school for, you know, back to the high schools and stuff, but um, he's got a lot of nice goals and things mm -hmm. and makes it really, I'm so proud of all of them. Yeah, Where's, where is he headed? He's headed for Anoka Ramsey, mm -hmm. right here in, um, over there in Anoka, mm -hmm. and he wants to get into a medical program, so his starting base will be that he's going to study a lot in the biology. Sure, sure. And but so he, he wants to go into the medical field. Does he want to be a doctor? Well, someday that might be a dream, and he's yeah. got he's a got doctor. a goal. So what the heck, you know? Yeah. What uh, is he? Are there any other doctors in the family? No. No. no oh, one. so he'd be the first. No. Yeah. 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 Are you are you pretty excited about that to have a? Have well, a doctor that would be quite another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what what sort of doctor does he want to be? I asked him about that, yeah. and he says, well, really, right now, just starting out, he's thinking of um, just really studying hard in the biology and sure. find out exactly where he wants to go. Okay. You know, that young, sometimes they don't know as much right. <laughs> in their ending interests, and they can change, too. So. Well, yeah, and I certainly didn't know what I wanted to do when yeah. I went to college. Yeah. What, if, if you could pick, if you could pick any kind of doctor for him to be, what would it be? Well, I think that from my past and my experiences, my own health and with my present husband and mm -hmm. my first husband too especially, um, I think the uh, internal medicine mm -hmm. is such a, a vast field that it could be a pretty good field. Yeah. I <laughs> have it, to have a lot of head knowledge, that's for sure. Fair enough. If, uh, what kind of doctor would you not want him to be? Is there like any sort of doctor where you just think, no, no, no. No, not really. Um, yeah. Foot doctor? Me, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, my foot doctor, but if you put long needles in your toes. No, I <laughs> I think, um, <laughs> this sounds funny, a baby doctor. <laughs> a baby a G doctor? A GYN doctor. <laughs> you wouldn't want him to be a baby doctor. Uh, no, I, I, 
I don't know, although that can be exciting, but. Yeah, but those, you know, those babies. Yeah, they, they you fall in love I with them. <laughs> oh, you fall in love yeah, with yeah, them? Yeah, the little babies are so oh, cute. Are you, are you worried that he would take them home, Barbie? Oh, no, no, I think he'll have some of his own someday. Oh. <laughs> How many? Oh, that I wouldn't know. Well, how many would you like? Great grandkids. This is your chance. Oh, yeah. Well, I've already got two, so I'll add a few more someday. Yeah, make it a baker's um, dozen? <laughs> no. And his mom had five boys, and that's tough enough to raise in this day and age. Yeah, yeah. I think if he had at least two. Mm -hmm. Okay, at least yeah, two. I'll be satisfied. Okay. Now, we have, we have a picture. We have a picture of him here. Let's see if we can, if we can get that up on the screen there. This is Michael, and when, Michael? when was this? How I old was think, Michael when this picture I was taken? I think he was in first grade, mm -hmm. and he put that little thing together. It's from those, you know, popsicle sticks, yeah. and he pulled out that picture that he wanted for his Grandpa Martin. Mm -hmm. we, they all called him Grandpa Martin, well, and sure. that was for his birthday in 1999. Yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty special, and I've had yeah. it, I've always had it someplace sitting out. Yeah, and this it looks like this picture's from around Christmas. Yes, it was because, like Eric was noticing something in there, the little calendar that they yeah, had that's right. There's a was little, always uh, um, the right little here. thing that you get to put in each day mm -hmm. and move it. Yeah, yeah, a little so Christmas countdown cute. calendar. Yeah, we, you know, we, I, and that's why I said to you is we had uh, that same one. Sure. Always growing up, it has a little mouse. Oh yes. A little mouse uh -huh. and a Christmas I'm sock. I'm not sure what that had, but it was cute. Something to move each well, day. Well, I would assume it was the same. Like, it looks it's, just like. Yeah. The one. My parents still put it out. Oh sure, yeah. yeah I think yeah, yeah. Shirley does too. I get I get a little upset if I go there on Christmas. And <laughs> don't get to change the I like the to move the mouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's oh, what how I like to fun! Do. Well, All the wonderful memories. Now, what kind of now in high school? So he's just getting out of high school. What kind of what kind of activities was he involved in, Michael? Oh, mainly for high school jeepers. He wasn't into the sports at the school. Mm -hmm. But he was um, very active in hunting, fishing. Mm -hmm. Um, he was on some tournaments of cribbage or um, chess, mm -hmm. and then at one time when he was in junior high or middle school, I think he might have been in the orchestra for a year and he played the cello. Oh. That was the same thing I played, and then mm -hmm. his brother did it for one year too, so it was kind of funny to picture yeah. them doing that. Yeah, did you guys ever or form actually, a band? Actually, I'm sorry, it wasn't that they played the cello, they played the violin. Oh, okay. Well, you yeah. guys could have done a, become a string oh, yeah, trio. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. yeah. I can't even remember how to play it anymore. Well, well you could have accompanied him on, oh, the, I, yeah. uh, on the accordion. <laughs> accordion or the piano, yeah. yeah. You, we got to get you on the show oh, playing yeah, accordion one of these days, Someday I am days, going Barbie. to... Boy, it's hot in here. It is hot in here. With these I know. Are you okay? Do you need to take a break? Yeah, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna have my break right now. I'm gonna have okay. some good ice water. Okay. Well, if you need to stop, you let me know. Okay. But uh, you said that the other thing that he was involved in, not just band, but that he was also and uh, in, in chess. You said was a big one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you have you ever played chess with him? No, I've never played it. No, I, I've watched it. It's hard yeah. enough just to watch. <laughs> What, well, what sort of games do you like, Barbie? Well, I like board games. I yeah. like, uh, I've always liked Monopoly or Sorry mm -hmm. or... Um, Mousetrap? <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good one. Hungry Hungry Hippos? Yeah, and the Barrel of Monkeys, you yeah. know, the one you yeah. pull. It. I mean, because when we played it with all the kids, mm -hmm. and then the, sure. the Racko and the Skippo mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all those. Now you, now you said Monopoly. Mm -hmm. what, what is your favorite piece? What? I suppose it had been one of them that would have been one of the animal type, and I suppose I'd have picked a lion or a cat or whatever it was, or you know, maybe a dog. I think they have a dog on that. Yeah, yeah, I think I would have I think it could be the dog. dog or the hat <laughs> yeah. or the shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was a cute game. It is a cute game. But anyway, but uh, anyway, Michael's graduating high school this this coming weekend. Next week. On next, the, next week. Okay. The 7th of on June. On the 7th. Okay. So congratulations, Michael. I Are, think he's... Come a long ways. Do you have a Do you have a special message for Michael? Oh, to never, never let go of your dream and your goals. Just keep struggling for them. There you go. And you'll be surprised how many come true. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Now, where did you go to high school, Barbie? I went to high school down in northeast Minneapolis. Okay. At Edison. At Edison. Is mm -hmm. that still there? Oh yes, it's yeah. an old old school. Yeah, yeah. Was probably in the early 
1900s or yeah. so. I mean, it's an old school. Okay. What was it like when you were there? <laughs> Did you have a good time in high school? I liked school, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I think most of all my life, though, I've had a lot of problems with my asthma or mm -hmm. allergies and stuff. So whenever I was sick, it was hard to miss school and then try to catch up. That mm -hmm. one thing I can really um, sympathize with kids that have a chronic or type illness. Mm -hmm. It, it's tough, but, um, and then I, I had a lot of friends. I had a lot of fun. They had the dance area down in the, by the lunchroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a big school, so I mean, going from just sixth grade, bombarding, getting into a big school like uh, the high schools in the cities and stuff, you, you're exposed right away for seventh grade, right through twelfth right. grade. So you meet a lot of different kids. They didn't have like middle school then. No, we didn't. Well, no, not that I no. Not that you were that, a part of anyway. That, no, not that I was. Yeah. But I wasn't too many years that they started mm -hmm. having the junior highs yeah. and split it up somewhat. But that school was definitely known as a all high school, yeah. junior high school. Yeah. What was your favorite class? Or favorite oh. teacher, I'll accept oh either. Oh my gosh. I should ask me which one was my worst. Okay, <laughs> which, which one was your worst? Was my biology teacher. Yeah? He was a very, very hard teacher to get good grades with, and yeah. I worked, struggled so hard. So somebody always said, if you get a C plus or a B, mm -hmm. you'll be lucky, so you might as well consider it an A. Yeah. But as far as my favorite teachers, I loved mm -hmm. home economics, so yeah. I love that. I didn't care for Jim. Yeah. Um, didn't like And then, of course, ball. I was in the music end. Mm -hmm. No, and then, then I liked, um, I loved when they started getting into the business sure. uh, subjects. I, mm -hmm. I enjoyed that. Let's, let's get back to biology. <laughs> so, so how did you end up doing? Did you get your B or C? Well, I probably did. I'm yeah. sure I did. Yeah. I used to keep all my report cards from way back. Oh, I yeah. mean, my gosh, you know, did kind of laugh over them, you uh -huh. know. Thinking, oh, sure, you know. <laughs> yeah. Did he, this guy, did he make you dissect a frog? I don't think I did. Okay. I don't think I would. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't do I it? I might just I dissect him with a mosquito, <laughs> but not a frog. Not a frog? Or a, or a mouse or anything okay. like that. Too friendly? Well, I have a hard enough time putting minnows and stuff on my bait for well, my, <laughs> my hook for fishing. Yeah. What, uh, so Edison High School, what, was Thomas Edison? Yes. Yeah. What was, so what was the, what was the team? What was the, the main logo? I beg the, your pardon? The, like the, the school logo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Tommies. The T T T O M M M I E S. The T T T O M, got to go for it. Tommies, go, go, go. Go. <laughs> It was a, a lot of a lot of good memories. Good. And then my I have two brothers. Yeah. Uh, that went there. One and graduated in '42, and one in '48. Mm -hmm. And then I was, of course, in '58. So now yeah. you know my age. <laughs> <laughs> a I long think, time ago. I think you've said your age before on the show. Well, ah, well, what the heck? I That's don't. That's right. I'm not ashamed of. Should be. Of young girls. There <laughs> you getting, go. So, so after you graduated from uh, from Thomas Edison, what what did you go on to do? Well, I went and I took some business courses, and I went to work at Munsing, where it was a, a sportwear and golf shirt and mm -hmm. type of lingerie company that made beautiful, beautiful things. Lunch. And it was a big company over in North Minneapolis. In fact, in North Minneapolis now, it's called mm -hmm. the International Market Center. Oh, okay, that building. I know that. Definitely. Building. And that's, uh, that was mighty big way back then when just getting out of school and yeah. getting hired as secretary to mm -hmm. the uh, a business manager of some sort or another. Mm -hmm. I can't remember all the way back then. Was he in charge of but, the lingerie department? <laughs> oh, yes. And I remember getting a lot of discounts. And hey. Stuff. Yeah, that was nice. But, you know, the thing I remember in, in my office area was um, the... And I, when I look back, it's all the experience I could get on the different equipment that was way back then, mm -hmm. you know, cylinders of dictaphone and everything, you yeah. put them in, and then nowadays all you do is plug it in or you listen on a little right. tiny cassette or mm -hmm. something. Did you have a mimeograph machine? Pro oh, yes. 
Yeah. yeah, and I remember working with a lot of the stuff that, oh man, copies after copies that Ugh. would be a mess, get full of the ink and all mm -hmm. this stuff. Now, yeah. we've, we've talked in the past about some of the jobs that you had then after you were secretary. We talked a little bit about Barbie's dolls and some stuff like that. But one I found out about uh, just the other day from you that you, you and Martin had, uh, had a thrift store for a while. Well, yes, we had a, I, I would call it a whatnot shop. A what Martin, shop. Yeah, Martin's Bargains. And before he started out with that, he had a shop that was called Woodworm. Mm -hmm. And we got the name for that with, um, there's something in the Bible about worm and wood and stuff. But mm -hmm. anyhow, he, he used to make a lot of uh, wood products like wishing wheels, um, windmills, garbage can holders mm -hmm. and, and different holders in the kitchen for potatoes or onions and things and bread boxes just a lot of fun so we kind of went from that and went into this martin bargains where we would refurbish uh fairly good uh furniture things mm -hmm. that could be resold yeah. so got into that and then mm -hmm. he did a lot of repair because he used to be a tv repairman ah. it's kind of an interest the thing, and from way back then, of course, everything was um, pretty much <laughs> a lot different than yeah, nowadays. Tubes and stuff <laughs> everything like that. you throw away now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's it. So he, he, it used to fix, he used to fix TVs. Yeah. And now you're on TV. No, oh, yeah. Oh, surprising. <laughs> um, so the last time we were on TV, we talked about the royal wedding. And now the royal wedding has come and gone. What did you think? Oh boy, I, I read up a lot of them and I liked their pictures. They were, it was a beautiful wedding. Mm -hmm. As, and, as um, beautiful as Charles and Di's? I enjoy it, of course, it's that many more years, mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. But um, it had its simplicity in mm -hmm. comparison, wasn't as flashy, whatever, sure. in that way. But um, I loved her dress. Her dress was just stunning. Yeah. She's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And. Um, I don't know. I just uh, I enjoyed okay. watching what? it, and I enjoyed the song. I remember I wrote down on a piece of paper. Um, it was something about redeem, redeem, great redeemer or something that will mm -hmm. be is with us, and it was just a beautiful song that they yeah. picked out, yeah. and so it was nice. What what about uh, what about Pippa? The it feels. Like I didn't really even know who she was too much yeah. before. Well, I didn't mean She's quite pretty mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and nice, but I don't think she really took anything away from do you think? Do you think Pippa and Harry would make a good couple? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know if, which, that she's single, too. So, Well, I don't know. You want to pick him? I think he's got a girl, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. What about, uh, what about the hats? There were some, there oh, were yeah, some, some interesting some, hats. Some that were quite extreme. <laughs> <clears throat> to say the least, mm -hmm, uh -huh. but that was a fun thing for them and the women, you know, they're not afraid to wear whatever. They're used to that, too, mm -hmm. it's being very flashy. I think the, um, oh, am I thinking of Queen Mary and... Mm -hmm. and Queen Elizabeth? I mean, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. What's her husband's name? Uh, Prince, uh, Prince, is it Philip? It might be Prince Philip. Could be Philip, and you know, she's always been, oh, such a gorgeous, classy looking woman. Really? Oh yes, I think so. She's okay. so well put together. She's yeah. just so, um, to me she's classy. Okay, yep. fair she's enough. Classy because fair she had the hat on that mm -hmm. always has, and she has everything so proper, and the gloves and the person. Mm -hmm. The corgi know, dogs. <laughs> what, uh, you seem very fascinated by these hats, Barbie. Oh yes, of course it goes back, way back when I was an older teen mm -hmm. in my 20s. And, Back then, they wore a lot of cute little hats, and ours mm -hmm. were all usually the little hats. Yeah. Would you like to wear more hats? Not now. Oh, no. no. Okay. no. That was a time that was mm -hmm. fun then. Yeah. And they were always cute little, <laughs> more or less like a little cover-up top thing, and yeah. had pretty little feathers here and there, and had different mm -hmm. colors to go with Should whatever you Should I wear you're... more hats? You could stead with <laughs> Right there. Is this, is this a bald crack, Barbie? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why not? Um, I get you. Hey, listen, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're pretty young for balding yet. But, you know, well, I'm a regular don't feel bad. Brown. Don't feel bad. All my, quite a few of my nephews bald very mm -hmm. early. Well, 
Thank yeah. you. Let's move on. So let's, yeah, let's how about get this? Under how about this? Subject? Tell me, tell me about the twins. How are the twins doing this year? <laughs> you ask me how the twins are doing? Ask the fans. <laughs> I thought you were a fan. <clears throat> oh, they're not doing very well. They're not doing <clears throat> so good? No, they're not doing too good this year. Yeah. But uh, last year, last year I know you you actually you got to go to at least your first game in a long, long time. Oh yeah, it's the first thing, especially with the new stadium. Yeah. What what did all. you think? What was that like? That was beautiful. It was very nice. Uh, I think it'd be fun to go there again with not having to just gone once and not you mm. know leave too much time in between. Yeah. Um, food is good. Mm. Too good. <laughs> the hamburgers are so big. Yeah. And I did get a Har Harmon Killer Brew um, root beer. Yeah. And I kept the... The bottle? The bottle for a while. It wasn't in a bottle. It was in a can, I think. Oh, one of those like bottle-shaped cans? Moved, yeah, and then yeah. when I m we moved, and somebody, mm -hmm. I think, threw it away. Mm -hmm. So. And now he's gone. I know it. Are you sad? I wish I would have kept it, yeah. Yeah. Of course, yeah. I didn't really... I didn't know much about Harmon Killer Brew before, because yeah. I... I'm I'm kind of a late comer into sure, the sure. Well, I've, it, twin you know, stuff. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Now you went to the game with um, Danica. With Danica, our, one of our uh, our news uh, our news director. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had a lot of fun. We yeah. rode down on the um, Metro North. Is oh, it the North, North Star. North Star. Yeah, yeah that was mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. And uh, you and Danica, you're very close. Yeah, she's a very nice young girl. Yeah. Is is she your best friend here, Barbie? Yeah, one yeah. of the gals. <laughs> yeah, one of the gals. I have a few. <laughs> is that right? I mean, Ben is a good friend of mine. Yeah. So is Eric, yeah. you know. We, well, thank and, you. And, and Rick, oh, mm. he sure likes to tease me. Because <laughs> well, I think you all do. He gets upset that you keep calling him by my name. Oh, I know. I, yeah. I have to tell him he's going to mm. have to put some kind of a mm. where his name on his <laughs> bald <you> head. <laughs> But but at the game, yeah. at the Twins game, did you get a did you get a chance to see? I know you have a you have a, a big crush on Joe Mauer. <laughs> yeah, he's quite a guy. Yeah, I could, so I got to see him play. Yes. Uh, was he as handsome in person? Well, I was too far away. <laughs> oh. You didn't bring binoculars. <laughs> no, I didn't no? bring. Any. Okay. Well, let me let me ask you this. We I mentioned this to you a little bit earlier. How, how would you feel if we could? I don't know if it's possible. I haven't even tried yet. But how would you feel if we could get Joe Mauer on the show? Well, that would be unreal, but I mean, do you really believe that? I mean, North Metro, I mean, wow. If we had Joe Bauer here, could we afford him? Well, maybe. <laughs> hey, this is free gratis. That's right. Maybe he, you know, as such a, a charming young lady as yourself, wants young him to lady. come on and talk to him. <laughs> His grandma twice over. <laughs> oh, pish posh. I'll tell you what, let's do this, because what, what we're going to have to do is I'm going to, I'll, I'll get in touch with the people. I don't know. Yep, we'll see. You never know. I, I don't, I'm not counting on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll give it a try. Well, he's my idol, but yeah. oh boy, you put that in the newspaper yeah. and it's going to be, everybody, this place would be packed. Oh, exp <laughs> go through the roof. <laughs> have to get a new, uh, go and film it down at Blaine High School yeah. or something. You know, he's, he's been on other TV stations before. Oh, yes, I'm sure he has. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's. Let's look at your camera right over here. Oh, look right into the camera. Okay. I want you to pretend that you are talking to Joe Mauer. Oh, hi, Joe. And I, <laughs> and I want and I want it and tell Me? tell Joe why you want him to come on the show. Oh, mercy, Joe. We want you to come on this show because you are, uh, uh, well, you're a person of the cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul. You're of St. Paul. You're a young fellow. You've got a lot of goals that you've already had come true. You're a real role model. I think that it would be wonderful to have someone as tall as you to look up to in person, really. You are a lot to look up to. And we would be so honored to have you. So come on over. <laughs> there you go. So that's, so you heard it here, Joe Mauer. Yeah, you come, heard it. You come down here. <laughs> Barbie wants to meet you. We'd love to have you. We'll give you your own. A glass of iced water. <laughs> it's good too. It's good. It's the best iced water in the building. It is. It is. Well, you know, I think that's all the time we have for today, Barbie. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty hot up here. You sick of me? 
Uh, no, I'm oh. not sick of you yet. <laughs> Just too hot? <laughs> it's pretty hot. It is pretty hot. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll wrap up. Um, so as always, I want to thank our terrific crew uh, for helping out today. We have a, a great group of volunteers who helped out. Sure do. Today we have Laura and Jeff and Mackenzie and Kevin and Bart and Jerry. Thank you guys all so much for, for coming today. And I want to say to you people watching at home, if you have any questions that you would like to ask Barbie, you can send an email to eric at northmetrotv.com and we'll ask Barbie uh, those questions on the show. How's that sound? Well, I guess if I can answer them, I will. There you go. go. All right. Okay. Well, thanks, thanks again, Barbie. You're welcome. Thank all of you for watching, and good night. And you have a wonderful summer. There you go. Good night. And you start in June. <laughs>